Hey y'all, it's me, Dalton James. Welcome to my YouTube channel, or if you were here last week, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm very excited that you decided to return and spend another week here with me. I'm honestly so thrilled that I've gotten so much love and support from so many people, and I'm very excited to still share another video with you here this week. Um, I am glad that not only, like, I really only expected my video to get like 50 views, maybe. In fact, that I literally got over 300. I literally, I looked 12 hours later and I had almost 200 views and I was so thrilled, so excited, could not believe what was happening. And I could tell that there's people viewing my videos that I don't even know. So it's just the fact that like, I guess people word of mouth wise are telling other people, um, I'm very excited for that. I will say that, um, you know, we're going through this weight loss journey together, and I will say that today I just, just weigh in at 258 pounds, which is um, a total weight loss for me of 62 pounds, so we're just over halfway to my kind of goal weight that we're looking at right now. This week we are going to do something a little bit different than what we did last week. We're actually going to go grocery shopping, and then we're going to cook dinner. It's going to be dinner and then lunch for me the next day, um, and kind of do that all together. Um, I decided that this would kind of be a good idea for the video because I have been ordering a lot of Postmates lately, like an insane, insane amount of Postmates. Like an insane, an insane, an insane, insane amount of Postmates. Still like healthier stuff most of the time, but like in general, like... Postmates, yes, I'm ordering it from like a restaurant that I think is good, but you can never really know what's going in your food unless you're cooking it yourself. So I am very excited to actually cook food for the first time um, in a little while. I've been very sick lately, so Postmates was just the easier and convenient option instead of actually having to cook it myself and having to go grocery shopping. So not only am I going to save money, but I also will hopefully be eating a little bit healthier now that I'll be cooking it myself. So I actually don't have a lot of money right now. I don't get paid until Friday. So we're gonna actually see how much money I have to spend on this food for these meals and kind of see what's going on with that. It might end up being the rest of my bank account, but we'll see how that goes once we get to where we're going. It is now time to go grocery shopping, continue with the rest of the video and kind of see how everything's going. Let me know what you think along the way. Okay, so I'm about to go grocery shopping at Whole Foods. I am going to Whole Foods because it's just really close to where I work, so just like an easy situation and they ask you how you are you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine but you just can't get into it because they would never understand i just realized that i left my wallet at work so i'm gonna go back inside in the rain by the way it's been pouring rain all day did not know it was raining and i so i'm not wearing like a rain jacket or shoes that are like good for the rain or anything so i'm literally wearing Sperry's and there's a hole in my shoes and my feet are now soaked, like absolutely soaked. So I'm gonna go back out in the rain, go inside. We're gonna try this again. Okay, so I'm back and um, cold. It's literally 44 degrees in Greensboro today. So I'm soaked, it's cold, my feet hurt. It's going really great, you know? But so yeah, I'm leaving work now. I'm gonna go to Whole Foods thinking we're gonna make like a stir fry thing. So we'll see how that goes. Hopefully I don't hit anyone in the parking lot. Um, driving to Whole Foods, we'll see how this goes. See if um, we can find some nice like fall vegetables to make with it, I don't know. We'll see how this goes. So I just took a look at how many, uh, so I just took a look at how much money I actually have at, to spend at Whole Foods for this meal and it is less than $25. So that's gonna go really well. I will see how this goes and see how much money I have by the end of this. So if you can't tell from the um, sound and the excellent lighting we are getting, um, it is still raining. I am back in my car after Whole Foods and we're gonna go home and make this delicious meal. I will say we're gonna have to stop by Starbucks because I need some coffee or I will die. So I'm gonna do that really quick and then we're gonna head on home. Okay, so we're gonna make this stir fry. And I got my chicken right here, broccoli, Wash, 
and a zucchini. So that's great. We're gonna use fat as trash, cause yeah. So um, as I said, I went to the butcher and I got them to cut the chicken for me because if you're anything like me, I think that's actually the most disgusting thing possible is cutting raw chicken, cutting raw meat. Like if I if I do that, I actually won't eat my food. Um, so I have them cut it for me so that way I don't actually have to touch any of the raw chicken. So I'm going to get this pan out here. Whoops. Uh, my bad. Um, and I'm going to get it on high heat here. There we go. And some olive oil. And some soy sauce. I think that's always really good when you're cooking like stir frying vegetables and stuff. Soy sauce is good. Obviously we need pepper. That's a can of salt <laughs> and pepper. Okay, so we're gonna be good with that. We're gonna wait for this to heat up a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and open the chicken. Yeah, but isn't this so cool though? Literally, like you tell them how much you want and they'll literally like package it up for you. Like it's already cut, all that stuff. I know they do that at most butchers or most like grocery stores, but I like, I mean, I go to Whole Foods just cause it's convenient for me. Um, we can obviously go to like any of the ones that are near you. Also, I'm still so cold because something just broke. So let me go check and see what that was. Well, I just looked in every room and nothing is broken and the cat was literally sitting right next to me. So that's not it. Oh, so as I was saying, um, I'm really Oh yeah, so I'm literally cold as she, cold as she. Bored as she. That's right. Um, because my shoes that I was wearing, I'm wearing Sperry's, they're like two years old. The sole has like detached from the actual shoe. So while I'm walking, there's just like water going into my feet. So I'm frozen right now. Hopefully this food will like heat it up. In here. So now that this is getting kind of warm, I'm going to put about a tablespoon of oil in there. Cooking it with salt in. For those of you who know me, I did go with Guy Fieri for uh, Halloween and just to prove that I can actually cook. And I guess I'm going to take myself to Flavortown here. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, but honestly, like everything I have here is from Whole Foods, not sponsored. Wish it was. So I would stop spending so much money there. Um, like, I think. What I like about Whole Foods is they have like a lot of big stuff too, and you know that it's like nice and like well-made stuff. So this is a huge thing of olive oil I got there a while ago. The pan's hot enough, the olive oil is in, olive oil is in there. Olive oil is nice because it gives you like a nice like natural fat in what you're eating. I'm gonna go ahead and throw the chicken in there. Once again, did not touch it because I will throw up everywhere. So now I'm gonna like separate the chicken because it's kind of like still all like clumped together. And I wanted to like be sure that it cooks all evenly and whatnot. So I'm gonna go ahead and separate it here and I literally just got a pound of chicken which when it comes out comes out to about like when it's done being cooked it's about 14 ounces of like cooked meat um and from there um I will split that into two so we're gonna have two servings here probably for dinner today and dinner tomorrow or lunch tomorrow also I have a sinus infection so I don't know if you heard in the last video I was kind of like I sound really nasally and stuff. Yeah, I've had a science infection for about two weeks now. Finally got meds on it, so that's a lot of fun. I'm gonna go ahead and get a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. Throw the chicken while it's in here. While I'm cooking, I'm gonna play a playlist of music. Y'all won't be able to hear it because, you know, those copyright rules. Um, but I am going to be playing it and it's actually a Christmas playlist because I celebrate Christmas starting November 1st and this Christmas playlist is going to be amazing. It's called Mary Chrysler. Mary Chrysler. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to be playing that if I can find it. There we go. Alright, so as the chicken is still cooking and still, it literally is still pink, um, I'm going to start cutting up the vegetables. So I have the cucumber here. I bought a cucumber. 
cucumber and not zucchini. You can't stir fry cucumber. Too late to go back to Whole Foods now, so um, I guess I'm eating cucumber by itself. So I'm flipping the chicken now because most of it is kind of getting white on one side, so I'm gonna flip the chicken over so that um, all the other pieces get to cook with the pink on the bottom side now. I can't believe I bought cucumber! There's cucumber right next to the zucchini. I think I just grabbed the wrong one. I need something. Literally, I woke up today and I told myself I was going to film this video and I was like, watch it like rain, there'd be awful light like there isn't here. Or like, I don't know, Whole Foods closes and the power goes out. I don't even know, but like... It's raining, there's horrible lighting, and um, I bought the wrong freaking vegetable. Take the broccoli, I'm gonna rinse it off too. Also, I can't find my cutting knife, so I'm using a butter knife to cut the vegetables up. Okay, so off camera, I finished cutting up the broccoli. Um, the chicken is actually almost done cooking. Um, I still haven't cut up the squash yet, but before the chicken actually finishes cooking, I do want to put in some soy sauce in there, just because uh, it will like help, well before it's done cooking, it will actually help soak up the soy sauce if the chicken's like not fully done, in my opinion. Obviously I'm not like a chef, but you know what, I try. And so I'm going to go ahead and put in some soy sauce in there, just like a couple tablespoons, to just kind of give it like a nice good flavor, and we'll see how that goes. So now I'm gonna cut up the squash. Um, this actually is squash, I'm pretty sure. So, not, fingers crossed, not gonna have a problem if you with the zucchini. Um, we're gonna see how this goes too. It's squash. <laughs> and I'm actually gonna cut the squash into really thin slices and then probably also half them. Um, just because this is like a really big squash. So as you can see, like literally this squash is dragging over, so I am going to cut them in half and then throw them in there. So most smaller pieces I am going to keep the same way. The squash is all done being cut and I'm actually now going to um, cut up a piece of the chicken here to just be double check that it is done being cooked. I do have a meat thermometer, but you know, sometimes I just like to check with my own eyes. Got a little bit of a thicker piece here. It is white, it is good, it is nice, still juicy, good there. So I'm now going to take the chicken, I'm gonna put it in a bowl, and then we're actually gonna throw the vegetables in the same pan the chicken was in. I'm actually surprised by how many veggies I have now that I, even though I don't have the zucchini in there, it still looks like it's gonna be a good amount of vegetables, but I'm still gonna cut up that cucumber and eat it while this is cooking. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and throw in some salt and pepper with the vegetables too. Give them a little bit of seasoning, but I think I should be done with the salt now. And the pepper as well. Finished. I don't even really like cucumbers. So my vegetables are kind of getting there to where I need them to be. I am going to go ahead and add some soy sauce to them and a little bit of olive oil. Sorry, that was just kind of... Uh, uh. That literally was straight cucumber. Uh. A bit reverbed. Hello? Mmm. Okay. So I'm going to throw a little bit of this soy sauce in here. Now, as I said, I am going to throw a little bit of olive oil because it is kind of dry in there. Just a little bit of oil. Kind of stir the whole thing up. Get everything nice and good in there. Okay, and I'm going to throw a little bit of water in there and I'm going to actually steam them up a little bit with the lid. I 
handle it, so I'm going to... Nothing else could go wrong for this video. Okay, so the vegetables are about done. I am actually going to add the chicken back in here so that they all can cook together for a little bit longer. Okay, I'm gonna mix it all together in there. We are almost done. After all the catastrophes that have happened so far. Okay, catastrophe is a little dramatic. All of the not so great things that have occurred in order to make this. Oh, this looks really good. I'm actually really excited to eat this. It's kind of like hibachi without, you know, all the rice and stuff. Okay, so everything is now done being cooked. I actually have made two servings of food, um, which is still going to have like a whole serving of protein and um, three servings of veggies, which is really nice. And I'm going to go ahead and split one half into a Tupperware for tomorrow, and then I'm going to eat the other half now. Okay, so now that we have everything ready to eat, we're going to kind of go back into the other room and do a little bit of like a healthy mukbang slash review of this recipe that I literally just made up while I was at Whole Foods. Okay, so I'm sitting down here, I'm um, back in the room, and I'm about to eat all this food. I'm really excited to like see how this recipe turns out. And by recipe, I mean thing that I literally just made up in my head. I do have a lot of food though, so I'm mean, very excited because like there's a lot of veggies and protein in it, so it's actually gonna be a pretty good meal. We're gonna see how this tastes. So first, I'm gonna start out with a piece of chicken. Let's see what we got here. That one looks good. I can tell there's like It's good, it's like, it's a little different than like, obviously it tastes different than if you like went to like a hibachi place and had them make it. But it's still actually really good. Um, I do think next time I make this, I might try to find like other things, you know, if I have some more money. Because I, um, some broccoli. So I've made a recipe for um, like kabachi chicken and kabachi vegetable before and like fried rice and like all that stuff. Normally those would include like not just soy sauce, it's like sesame oil and mustard and all that stuff. I don't have any of that. I do do it, so next time I do think I'll do that. I will tell you though, it does taste very green and fresh and I am glad that like I'm eating it here. One, it's a little bit cheaper because normally when I got a hibachi, it's about ten dollars, and this here is like, including the cucumber I ate earlier, is literally only like eight dollars. So it's still a little bit cheaper. Plus, I know exactly what's going into it. I know exactly what I've been making of it, and I know that it's going to be in all, hopefully, a healthier meal. So, Lily, as I said, in this bowl, I have two servings of vegetable and a whole serving of protein. A little less than seven ounces of chicken, which is like really good. And honestly, it feels really good to eat it because I don't, I don't know about y'all, but I really like my broccoli like still a little hard. I hate soggy broccoli, I think it's disgusting. And so, obviously, like that's what I did. Like, obviously, if you steam it longer. It'd be like a little bit more wilty or whatever. But I like there to be like, it's cooked, but obviously like a nice crunch on it. Also, I have another coffee. So good. I know, I literally drink so much Starbucks, it's really bad. But, oh well. Maybe that's why I have no money. I would like to say I am very thankful for, it's like a little bit more serious, but I am very thankful for everyone who watched my last video. I've honestly never felt so much like love and support from not only like my friends and my family, but people that I legitimately don't even know. Um, I have people that I, you know, talk to sometimes and some people that I uh, see occasionally and that sort of thing. But even like people were commenting on my video and on my Instagram um, that I honestly don't know. And then also there's people who would like run up to me like this weekend I went out with some friends and they were like around to me like oh my god I watched your video it was so great I loved it like I'm so proud of you and all this stuff and I felt so much love and support and I think 
all of you so much for watching it and I really could not thank you more um, enough for that because I mean as I said I'm just a fat kid who wants to try to change my own life and hopefully get help from others while doing it and I'm getting that support from so many people and I honestly could not be happier And if you have any suggestions on like things you want to see on my vlog, or honestly any suggestions about like meals to cook or anything like that, I would gladly take those. Um, I am very excited to continue doing this and having more fun with you all. And I am very excited because someone's car is making the loudest squeaking noise. I don't know if you can hear it. So this Starbucks coffee, it's got that like new lid that they use on it. So the thing I asked for is just like what comes with this kind of coffee. And I actually prefer drinking out of a straw. And everyone's like, oh, well these are more plastic and all that stuff, but like the concern with straws is not necessarily like that there's plastic, it's the kind of plastic, and then how is it disposed of? Like, and Starbucks talks about how they try to use a lot of like post-consumable things and like try to make more like eco-friendly plastics and that sort of thing so I really don't mind using that um, and I do have a reusable straw I just didn't bring it with me to Starbucks today and so I already started drinking it I was like well I'm already in now so I might as well also I got so much food on my sweatshirt while I was cooking there's really like a black soy sauce stain on my shirt but it's fine. I'll just wash it. Hopefully it comes out. I'm honestly getting so full and I still have like a good amount of food left. But gotta eat it, gotta get all these veggies in. Um, I am very excited because on Monday, so this video will go up on Wednesday, um, and on Monday, I am flying to Wisconsin to visit all my um, dad's side of the family, and I'm very excited with that. Because one, I haven't seen any of them. Well, seen, I saw some of them at my graduation. I graduated from college back in May. But then I haven't seen most of them since last Thanksgiving when it was at my parents' house. And I haven't seen my sister since um, she went to college back in August. So, I mean, I haven't seen most of these people in a long time. So I am very excited to go see them again. Um, the flight to Wisconsin is not going to be great. I leave at 6 a.m. that morning, so that's kind of, you know, whatever. But I am very excited to go. I love traveling, so the next video will actually be more of like a travel um, vlog sort of thing, and I'm very excited for that. I don't know if I'll be here. Um, I might be filming it beforehand. I don't know yet, but I still haven't decided. Um, but I'm very excited. Plus, I love, like, family time. Like, that's really important to me. So I'm very excited to go spend time with them, see my parents again. Like, I see my parents quite often, but I get to see them more recently and, like, sooner and that sort of thing so that's really exciting too um but i am almost done this is like the last bite of food once again i thank you all so much i'm so excited that you have um joined me on this like little recipe fun for today and um i will see you again shortly so my overall review of everything that I made, yeah, it was pretty good, and I did save up some money compared to Postmates. Um, I will say that it wasn't quite as like flavorful as if you like went and bought hibachi on your own. Um, it was still good. I still enjoyed it. I'm still mad I ended up buying a cucumber instead of a zucchini. Um, but all in all, it was still a great experience, and I'm glad that you all joined me along this way. If you like the kind of video I did today, please let me know down in the comments below. If not, I'll definitely try to mix it up a little bit and try to do something else a little bit different than this. Once again, I want to thank you all so much for coming in today and watching this video with me. Um, and I thank you all for anyone who came last week and watched last week's video. It's so great to be able to share my story with all of you, and I'm really enjoying this process along the way. Just like last week, I'm going to talk about one artist or one song that I'm really interested in right now. I've been listening to the Never Enough cover by Kelly Clarkson so much this week. It's so amazing. Please go check it out. It's such an amazing song. If you know The Greatest Showman, you know this song. It's great to hear such an amazing vocalist like Kelly Clarkson. Like, I grew up with her. I've listened to her pretty much my entire life. It's really cool to listen to her sing one of my favorite songs from that movie. 
If you enjoyed what you saw today, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and leave it a comment below. If you still have any questions, definitely put some of those questions in there. As well as if you did not subscribe last week, go ahead and hit that big red subscribe button below and hit that bell icon so you can get notified when I post next week for next week's video. I hope to see you all again next week on my weight loss journey. And until then, goodbye. Uh. <laughs> I'm disgusting.